What is the fastest way to level up in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green? With access to the Versus Seeker in Fire Red and Leaf Green, anywhere there are trainers will usually be a good spot. But I wanted to know what is the absolute best place to train for the most amount of XP per minute. Having played this game for years growing up, I thought I knew the answer. But just like my Emerald videos, I was surprised. And maybe you will be too. I tested areas frequently mentioned online and calculated a rough estimate of the EXP per minute you will get from these spots. The calculation includes time it takes to heal on the specific area and resetting the Versus Seeker. Before you start your grind, there are three settings I recommend to make your battles go just a little faster. We want text speed at fast, battle scene off, which will turn off animations from moves, and finally battle style on set as this skips the will you switch Pokemon question in a trainer battle. This shaves a few seconds off your battles and you save a lot of time in the long run. For our first training spot, we have Route 16. Early on in the game, when you've got your Versus Seeker, this can be a really good spot, simply because of the large amount of trainers in one place. We use the Versus Seeker to find battles from outside world trainers, as most of them can be rematched over and over again. I'll leave a link below if you wonder where to find the Versus Seeker. After completing the game, some of the trainers will upgrade their team and give massive amounts of experience. In this area, the two trainers on the left will have Pokemon around level 48, and if you have beaten the game, you should only battle those two and reset the Versus Seeker. There are better areas than this for late game, but before beating the league, this is one of the best, as all the trainers have Pokemon level 28 to 29. Making the Pokemon you're training hold the item Lucky Egg, you boost your XP by 50%, so that is recommended. But it's really tricky, because to get the Lucky Egg, you just have to get lucky. Video on that in the description. If you're able to one-shot all the Pokemon, you can expect to see around 6,526 XP per minute using the Lucky Egg. And that is including the time it takes to reset the Versus Seeker and heal your Pokemon every now and then. Moving on to the second training area, we have Route 18. The trainer at the top right has four Pharaohs at level 47. This is also a good spot for early game, where they will be around level 26. And the trainer at the bottom has a Dodrio level 34. But like Route 16, it's only worth it to battle the first trainer if you've already beaten the game, because it's the only trainer who improves their team. Expect to see around 7,028 XP per minute. If you haven't beaten the league yet, but have received the tri-pass after beating Blaine on Cinnabar Island, this next spot is the place to be for EXP. Take the boat to one island and surf up to Kindle Road. These trainers here will have Pokemon level 37 to 39, and the best part is, there's a healing pool in the cave above. After delivering Sapphire to Celio and beating the league, these trainers have Pokemon level 50 to 56, and give you around 7590 XP per minute. Wait with using the Versus Seeker until a lady walks down so you get a chance at fighting all of them. You might be thinking the League is a good place to train, and while in theory it is very good, the levels on their Pokemon are simply too high when rebattling them that there is almost no way to one-shot every single Pokemon in there. The only way I was able to do it was using my Mewtwo level 100, Eevee trained in a specific way with a very specific moveset. Still, if you're able to do this and use an EXP share on another Pokemon, you will only see around 3,222 XP per minute. Now for the last spot. Before I made the video, I was sure one island had to be the best XP per minute possible, until I tested the Savold Canyon on Seven Island. This location is only available after beating the game, but you probably wouldn't stand a chance any sooner as they both have five quite strong Pokemon between 52 and 56. And the best part is, you can heal in the house right next to them by dancing the Chansey dance with a man inside. Speaking of Chansey, there is also a trainer in this area who has a Chansey level 56, which is one of the Pokemon in the games that uh, yields the most XP, but sadly she only has one Pokemon, and it's just not as efficient as fighting these two. It is clunky to reset your Versus Seeker here, and a little annoying with the grass forcing you into wild battles, but we can get around that by using Cut by standing in or close to the grass. Now let me know in the comments if you knew about that. You will need to cut the grass again after you've healed, but still a pretty neat trick. XP per minute for this area goes all the way up to 8944, being around 17% more efficient than the spot on one island. Now that is including the time it takes to cut the grass. 
It's important to remember that these numbers are based on being able to take down everything in one hit, so it's important to farm an area that is comfortable for your Pokémon. I should also mention the ability Pickup, as it gives your Pokémon with Pickup 10% chance of finding an item after every battle. The reason this can be good is because there's a chance to get rare candies, that you can use to instantly raise a Pokémon's level by 1. You can get Pickup on Meowth at Route 7, for example. Having a full party of these is usually a good method for farming XP when your Pokemon is around 70 or higher, but in Fire Red and Leaf Green there's only a 5% chance of getting a rare candy, where it is 10% in Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald, making it less of a good strategy in Fire Red and Leaf Green. The XP gained per minute from trainers is also much higher here than in Emerald for example, so for Fire Red and Leaf Green I don't recommend it. You could put a few in your party while leveling, but I believe in terms of efficiency, it will in most cases slow you down more than it benefits you. So hopefully with this video, you now know where you should farm to most efficiently level up your Pokemon in Fire Red and Leaf Green. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to dynamic punch the like button, XP share the video, and trade it to your friends to make it level up faster. See you in the next one!